All right, let's see if the Sport Brougham will start. It's a 351 Windsor. I'm gonna do an oil change, some simple stuff on it. Um, just see if it'll fire up. So I also gotta clean out that intake area because of the mice. Let's move you guys over to a particular spot. Hopefully all of you can see. Move you over just a tiny bit if you can. There we go. Uh, hopefully you don't break. No, I didn't. to check the air vent this stuff kind of got into it I'm gonna pretty much do a carb clean and then I'll put something over it blow it out there's a lot of gunk there blow some stuff around the around the exhaust just everywhere in general. Um, I'll jack it up, get the oil change. I have to see. I think the oil filter is on this other side. Yeah, there it is. Is it easy to reach to? Looks like it. It's got a looks like a Fram oil filter. Uh, Here's the, the spot to put the oil in at. Well, everything looks pretty good. It ran when parked, but it smoked. I don't know how bad. I was just told that it smoked. Is there fluid in this? So I never checked. Smells like there is fluid in, in it. But when I start it, I won't run it too long, just in case. Um, what is my shoe? So, I'm not sure what to really expect. But, uh, but again, the original owner, this was a one owner when it was bought in, in 73. And he just kind of drove it out and, and just parked it. And he didn't take it out of the county either. So might be original miles on this, which is, I'll, I'll read it. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, 73,241. About ready to roll over to two. So yeah, this might actually be original my old car. That's some of the some of that paint starting to peel off. Actually, that's the clear coat, huh? So let's see here. I know they repainted some of this car up in the front. Um, I really still can't find no. Uh, um. Oh gosh, what was I thinking? Uh, no, uh, evidence of them redoing this engine in any way, shape, or form. So it's just, it is what it is, I suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some tools here. As I get you guys up close, just to see how things are. It's, yeah. And what is this? We got a Motorcraft carburetor. Electrical choke. All right. I'll go grab some stuff and get this thing cleaned. Don't know what to really expect in honesty, but but we'll find out. 
All right, let's bring her loose. Let's see how bad it is. <laughs> well, doesn't look too bad. A lot of gas in it. A lot of gas in that. Oh. Wow. There's a lot of gas. You can even smell it from here. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this and let it drain and then clean on top. And uh, once it's done, then I'll run my finger and see if there's any sludge. And uh, man, it's get you guys back. Yeah, look at that. Look how it's a kind of an amber because the gas in it. Yeah, could be just from setting. That's what I'm hoping. But, Not much oil came out of that either. So I'll get this thing out and start. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to swing the camera around. But I'll let that drain, reposition the tub. So that way I could lower it and get the rest of this drained. But man, that's, that's not looking good already. But find out just have to find out i suppose it just hit 99 degrees but uh couldn't get this oil filter taken off so i'm just going ahead and just kind of run it as is if it will start um tomorrow i'll get underneath take off the fuel lines to the fuel pump which is underneath uh, the power steering here and uh, i'll grab some gas Put in a bottle and kind of spray it down a little. I'll take off both gas lines so that in case if it does pump something up, it'll just go onto the ground. Because it's turpentine. That old smelly stinky gas. Um I guess that's pretty much just about it today, because like I said, it's it's getting blistering hot and I don't want to be out here too much longer. Cause I don't do too well out in the heat, and we still don't have a garage yet, and that'll be years off. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, but things are just kind of cleaned up. So, I actually had to take this back off and find where the gas line was, and it goes down and around like so. So, oh, well, that's day one out of the way. See you about day two, I suppose. Day two. I got stuff to start it, but... Right now, I need to see if it'll even remotely crank over. I'm kind of hoping that I don't really need to change this negative uh, battery cable. I'm just kind of hoping it'll just stay there, but knowing my luck on certain vehicles, I'll probably have to change that. need to crank it get that oil going some it's already getting hot out already 87 and it's like 940 something right now not enough this battery to fit oh. so I ain't got nothing else oh. 
Well. Talk about very, very unsafe. Um, where's that wrench? I put it inside. First, where's the lights? I want to see if I even got remotely anything. Or I have to charge up the damn battery. Oh! They're on dim. All right. I don't think I may have to pop the positive down to begin with. Now to make sure that's in gear. Turn off the lights. What's the, what's the back look like? Is there even anything? There's a faint glimmer of hope in the back. All right, so that's off. Yep, so park it is. Well. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Do a few TLC that'll take a little bit longer. And uh thanks gravity for shutting the door for me. And I'll uh do some TLC on it and see if she'll start. I got the camera out of the way just in case. Because I don't feel like losing my GoPro. I've disconnected the original fuel line. Boy, is it rotten. And boy, here comes the wind. Well, at least it's blowing from the west to the east, so. Done a few minor TLC. I'm only going to put a little bit in this because. Not sure what to really expect. You know what? Let me. Well, actually, let me just use that for a for a deal. Though. Yeah, right there or wherever it is, stay without it being knocked over. Um. Okay, hopefully the battery doesn't die. Horn barely works. Um Gosh, where's I wonder if that hose and the manda is still good. 
because I might hook that up to uh, run it off the jerry can. start so will she start yes but <laughs> I don't have an extra pair of hands uh, let me get you guys sitting over here I may gosh I don't know down just a little bit You know what? I don't think I have a spare uh, fuel line now that I think about it. Um, it's that one I use for a bunch of other stuff. Before I start it again, I'm going to come past the camera here. Whoop. Make sure it's back. There we go. I want to wipe up some of that fuel that's on top of that carburetor. Actually, I spilt some. You know, just in case of backfire. I know I won't go anywhere, but I don't like seeing big flames. That's weird. Come on, baby. Oh. Will she start? Yep. That's confirmation right there. She'll start. Yes. Let's start her again to get rid of that extra fuel that I put in. <laughs> This isn't smoking. It's not smoking at all. And I was told that this smoked like a chimney stack when it went to the... Okay. Okay, will she run? Or, excuse me, will she start? Yes. I need to rig up a jerry can. that fuel pump will work. Well, I probably better wait until Tucker's here so I can have uh, a few guys at this. I just have to flick the switch. That's all it takes now. I flicked it a little too lightly there. Well, I gotta win. <laughs> yes. So, will the 1974 or considered the 1973 and a half? Ford Grand Torino Sport Brougham, will, will, will it start? Yes, it will. But I need an extra pair of hands. So, I should do some more TLC on this. Oh gosh, there's pressure. There's that 
back from the trash can. I'll try to wiggle that battery down in there. So, all right. All right. Actually, let's get that done right there. So please take in consideration of liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. We're not after no money, no PayPal, no donations. No nothing. We're just after subscribers. Once again, well, the 1974 Ford Grand Torino Sport Bro, I'm start, or yeah, will it start? Yes, it will. But I need an extra pair of hands. So, y'all have a good one now. Take care and stay safe. See you later, and thanks again for the support. It's about time I have a win.